in our experience in the restaurants, chefs are always given the primary attention, right? The, the success of the restaurant is predicated upon what they do. And if you would read a review, it would sound in many ways that they're the only people contributing to the cause. Uh, you and I both know that that's very different. Um, you know, I know how hard you work. I know how intricately you are involved in, in creating the concepts and executing them. And while you're certainly a, an integral part of a team, I know that competitively and, and you know, for your own satisfaction, you might like to be acknowledged for some of your contributions to the success of what you create. Well, Tom, uh, it's hard to be the man behind the man when you're really the man. So you just fall back and um, <clears throat> you let things fall into place. Simply, I, I think that um, there, there are a few restaurateurs that establish themselves as the, as the focus or the focal point of, of the restaurant, but they're not going to, reviewers or writers, whatever story they're going to talk about, they're not going to go to Danny Meyer and go, Danny, tell me how you made this dish. Because right now, I mean, if you pick up a newspaper, it's, there's a photograph of a dish, then there's the recipe of the dish, and then the chef's talking about how he came up with the dish or where he found the, the ingredients for the dish or what farmer he's paired with the dish and then that leads to the, the farmer and so the restaurateur is the, what do they talk about? So the point is that- Yeah, it was strictly my idea. It was my concept. <laughs> uh, I raised the money, I dealt with the attorney. Yeah, the I, lease, I make sure that the taxes the are paid on yeah. time. I the set the payroll, schedule. Right? Right? I deal with every problem on the staff. I make sure that the PR person is, is spelling our names accurately and acknowledging the people that are involved. But other than that, you really don't do much of anything, do you? <laughs> well, your PR person will tell you that. Your PR person will tell you, uh, will tell you this. Well, really, they don't, want to, they don't want to know about the restaurant tour. They want to talk to the chef. Because I think that there's a, a heightened awareness of, of chefs now becoming Rock stars. Rock stars. Okay. Thanks to Mario Batali. Sure. And um, Emerald. Well, of course, Emerald. Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay. Um, right, Todd English. Todd English. Our friend from Ohio, um, uh, Mr. Michael Simon, who right. I love and adore. Right. Jonathan Waxman. But but let's so let's dig in. So part of the problem, absolutely, though, is that the people who are reviewing the restaurants, while they have these English literature degrees and sociology degrees and write clever prose, mm -hmm. actually know dick about the business in many cases, <laughs> right? Perhaps over a period of years of being close to it, they've understood something about it. But in, in many industries, right, in sports, you typically have someone who went to broadcasting school, who sits next to someone who recently played or coached that sport, who can provide intellectual information about what's actually occurring on the field. Well, and would it be engaging been. if someone from the business actually was giving insight into the way that all this actually happens? I agree with you. I, I go, I look at it this way, though. Um, in my earlier comment, um, I think that restaurants are a collaborative of, of information and thought. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that people know, <clears throat> I mean, I hope they know that uh, a chef can't run, uh, run the P&L statement and negotiate the lease and interact with the, uh, interact with the, um, the landlord and, um, and, and the attorneys to all the nuts and bolts that you and I talked about many, many years ago on how to make a deal and make sure that your, your payables, your fixed costs are on point. And then uh, once those are on point, let's talk about the re you know, reservations, how, how people are sat, where they're sat, you know, the, and beyond that, there's <clears throat> all the other nuances that go along with the day-to-day -day operations, food costs, labor costs. And, and this is in no way to diminish the role of the chef in the restaurant. I think my point in asking you the question is to acknowledge the considerable contributions of other parts of the team, right? This is, this is a endeavor that takes many, many people in order to be successful. But my feeling is certainly there are some chefs who are driving that restaurant, but in many cases, there's another person. Or two or three. Right. Who, who are, you know, it takes a summation of all these people mm -hmm. in order to really make it wonderful. No, I'll close well, with this. I'll, I'll close yeah. with this, Tom. This is, you know, my business partner, Terry Alexander, set up, mentioned a soundbite in a meeting once that stuck to me 
and I, I talk about it all the time. No one person is bigger than the whole. So. Well said, buddy. Right on, Thanks. Appreciate awesome. your time. Awesome. Thank you.